Net One UEPS Technologies. Net One is normally the abbreviated name. Serge Bellamont's company started here, organized themselves a foreign listing at some point. They are big in payment transaction processing services. They're also the contract holder of that mm. social grants contract in this market. Plus, they've got mobile payment technologies, and this is a global operation. Market capitalization, 8.6 billion rand. You wouldn't think so. Mm. Price to earnings ratio and dividend yield are showing up as zero, null, zip, infinity there. I'm not sure if that's entirely, I think it's correct, but it's probably just because of yeah, just uh, transactions. Mode. Yeah, they uh, the forward P is actually very low. It's around uh, seven times, which ah, I think okay. is sort of an indication of the market's concern about the the core income earner, which is that SASA contract. Yes. Uh, what is the latest on that? It's been very hard to track because there's been legal injunctions. That's right. Yeah. So there was a challenge against the award uh, of the the contract to uh, Net One, uh, which was successful, but because. Uh, uh, the social, um, the Department of, of Social Services couldn't really uh, replace them in the short term. They haven't replaced them, but it appears that it won't be renewed, the contract, which is in about three years' time. Oh, is it only um, then? Yeah, so I'm not sure. So it is a obviously bit the government the didn't want any interruption of the social grant Absolutely. benefits That's distributions, correct. but there was allegations that there'd been mm, foul play. But it was a big fight between ABS's business, correct. which is called Cash Master Solutions Pay or something. Master, yeah. And so that's where there is an interface mm. happening. Okay, but that is the key. But what about all the other businesses? Because it looks yes. pretty good when you look at what stuff they do globally as a payment processor, feeding transactions into Visa and MasterCard, and then mobile, which yes. enables all sorts of other businesses to use their gateway in order to handle processes of yeah, payments. Yeah, so, and they've been in this market for some time, and they're yeah. getting new licenses in Europe. They're also yeah. part of this uh, Blue Telecoms transaction. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, they, Thanks for reminding me. Yes. What's that about? So they're so, taking shares in Blue in order to enable Blue to buy shares in Correct. In yeah. So. Uh, Blue is taking 45% of, of South Sea, Net One taking 15% of Blue mm. in turn. So he is mm. feeding through. I think that transaction is seen as partly defensive because they do earn a lot of income already through uh, their smart cards and obviously Blue as well from, from South Sea. Yeah. Uh, so just to cement that and then look to leverage mobile payments uh, through mm. that relationship. Slightly confusing business though and moving parts, but there's the share chart. So it has been higher. And some of that sell-off in 2015 came as mm. a result of all the negative press associated with the SASA contract. So, I don't know, it's a tricky one. Mm. What are you thinking, hot or not? Yeah, I, I think they still make a lot of their income from that SASA contract until yeah. we get sort of uh, clarity either on their strategy to diversify away from that or some certainty of how that's going to be dealt with. Mm. I think a cloud will continue to sort of hang over the stock. They're doing the right things, but uh, I think mm. you can wait and see, so not hot. Okay, I think that is the wise decision, although it does feel like that's just the kind of stock we should be liking, hmm. but with the rep news flow, probably best to avoid for the time being. Right.